Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of the Clean Architecture course. And in this video, we're going to go more in depth inside Clean Architecture. And we're going to learn a bit about theory and uh, we're going to create our layers. So now that we have our core folders, for example, the core, the infrastructure, presentation, we need to create some projects inside of them. Because we cannot just uh, write our C sharp codes in a .cs file right under our folder, right? So we need to create some projects. Uh, you might be familiar with the uh, ASP.NET Core Web API project, MVC project, or uh, a console app project, Windows Form project, and you can create all of them in here a new project and you can create a project under that folder but the project that we are going to build for this course is a web api so i'm going to select the, an asp.net core uh, and uh, pay attention i'm under the presentation folder and uh, let's hit next here i want to set a name for it web api and now, what, what is happening is that the web API that is going to be created is under the presentation virtual folder. So if you see the location, if I hit create, it will go inside our main folder, which is near our solution. If you remember what we said in the last video, you know that our files are under the source folder and we have created some other folders inside our source folder which you can see here these are the virtual and they are the actual folders so now what i want to do i want to add the address that we have by hand in here so i want it to go inside the source folder or src folder and I want it to be under the presentation folder and I do have both of these folders inside my uh, clean architecture example solution that I've created. So let's hit next and I don't want HTTPS. We're going to enable open API and use controllers or let's hit create. Okay, now we can see a web API project under my presentation uh, folder. And if I open it inside the file explorer, here you can see the address. The address is inside my presentation folder and inside my source folder or SRC folder. And at the root, we have the uh, SLN or our solution. So you can see that my project inside my virtual folder and actual folder are at the same place and that's right so now we have the web api for our presentation we can have multiple others like mvc besides web api on the presentation folder but for now we're just gonna work with web api then after that inside my core i want to create a project as well so what project do I want to create? I want to create a project of type class library. If you don't know what class libraries are, a class library basically is a container for our C sharp codes. And when you export or publish this class library, you will get a DLL that you can use on other projects as well. All right, so you will see it for yourself and get familiarized with it uh, in the upcoming videos. Now let's create a class library inside our core folder and I want to name it domain. I want it to be under the src folder and under core folder. Let's hit next and let's hit create. As you can see it's just a library that contains some c -sharp files and we can have dependencies on them just just like any other projects we can have in we can install packages on them we can 
do anything that we want with this class library. And we can assume that it is a separate project uh, from other projects. It's independent. All right, now let's create another class library. And this one, I want to name it application. And this is also going to be under the SRC folder and our core folder. Let's hit next and create. I will explain to you what all of these are. So for now, I just want to create them so we have all of them and we, we see them in the solution. And inside my infrastructure, I want to create one other project and I want to call it infrastructure under the SRC folder and infrastructure. Let's create it. Just one more uh, project and we are done. So this is the last one. This is going to be persistence with a capital P. All right. And this is going to be under SRC and infra structure. All right. Now we're done. So now why did we create this class libraries? Because as I've told you, we are going to separate our codes and the separation goes inside different layers. Each layer is responsible for a specific part of the application. What this does, it makes each part of our application replaceable. So let's assume you want to change the database of your application. For example, you're using MySQL in your project and you want to migrate to MongoDB. And if you use clean architecture, you only need to change the layer responsible for connecting to the database and interacting with the database. You do not need to change your business logic. You do not need to change your data models and you only change the layer responsible. All right, now let's see what each layer do. At the center of our application, we have the domain. Domain is the heart of our application. It contains all of our, it contains all of our entities and base models that we are going to use throughout our application. All the main resources are going inside domain. Then we have application, which is responsible for the business logic of our application. And you can see it as the brain of our software. Then inside the infrastructure folder, we have the infrastructure, which any code responsible for sending a request to another web service, sending an email, sending an SMS, any other outsources are going to go inside our infrastructure. Then we have persistence. Persistence is responsible for connecting to our database, our DB context, unit of work, generic repositories, and all of our repositories are going to go inside persistence layer. And uh, we talked about the presentation layer before uh, as well. And also let's go look at the folders of our application. So we make sure everything is all right. All right, so we have the SRC, we have core, which contains domain and application. Then we have the infrastructure, which contains infrastructure and persistence. Then we have presentation with Web API. So everything is set, uh, have been set up. And I think this is enough for this video so you don't get bored. And uh, in the next lecture, we want to see how we can connect these layers together and uh, in which order should we connect them to each other and how are they going to interact with each other and communicate and get data from each other. If you want to support me to create more videos like this, please consider liking this video. Thank you. Bye bye.